In the next few minutes, we're going to see how we can transfer data effectively from SAP to any database or structured and even unstructured files with the help of this really neat plugin. At first, we're going to create a talent job where we will download and store our selected customer table from SAP. After we've created the job, we'll create a new SAP connection. We can do this here in the metadata layer area by the SAP connection node. Please note that this SAP metadata layer is not included in Talent Open Studio. This and the related wizards are all special parts of the Star Schema PLSAP connector for Talent plugin. As we create the connection, we need to give it a name because the system can manage and store multiple connections, obviously. We describe shortly the purpose of the bond, like it's a developer environment. What are the connection credentials? What host, username and password will we use? We can also test here if every detail is right. And as we can see, it's all good. For the next step, we'll add this connection to the job nicely with drag and drop. We define here that this is a standard SAP connection object. Our next thing to do is to set up the table parameters. In our example, it's the KNA1 table. We are going to download this from SAP. As we can see here, it's well enough to set the table name only because the system downloads every detail, like what columns are in SAP, what data types are attached to the related tables, and a short description if SAP's not too informative column names are not that adequate for us. We're deleting some columns because there are hundreds of them. Only the username, fax number, and address columns are necessary for now. So we're going to include only these for download. As we proceed, it's well enough to specify only the table name, which we've selected at the metadata. We set up the connection to direct the process to this PLSAP type component after it has been successfully connected to SAP. We configure the component to use the appropriate RFC, like the PLSAP RFC in our example. And we also need to set up the file output type, which is simply CSV here in our demonstration. For this, we're going to use the file output MS delimited component. and we're all ready to run our well-prepared job. As we can see here, it is very fast. It has downloaded all the data with a few thousands of lines per second speed. And we can also confirm that it has been finished. All the data, the customers, which we've selected from SAP, is here. They're all in this file. Of course, we have the opportunity to store the required SAP data, not only in a file, but in a different database. Let's see how this looks with a simple MySQL example from the very same system. Just like in the previous example, we create our new destination, the MySQL database connection. As we can see here, Talent Open Studio handles many types of database engines. We choose the MySQL 5 as the target database here. We just simply need to fill out the username, password, host, and database here too. 
and the connection is ready. Similarly to the SAP connection, we need to replace this file component and insert a database engine descriptor with drag and drop. We need to choose the MySQL output component here. Now we connect the PLSAP component with the MySQL component. And we also need to fill up the table name where we'll load all the data into and set up a special action to create the table if it doesn't exist in the specified database. So, if the table doesn't exist already, we don't have to care about that. There's no need to create it with modeling tools because Talent will do all the work for us automatically. Let's run the job so we can see all that SAP data loaded into this MySQL database. For the final step, let's check that all the data is really in there. We can verify this directly from Talent Open Studio's integrated SQL builder by regenerating all the data from the newly created KNA1 table. And there we are, all the data. The fields we've selected are there. They were all loaded and stored properly in the MySQL table. Thank you for watching.